What is up you guys, it's your boy Joe back with another video. Sorry, I'm outside my job and I just heard rustling in the trees back there. I had to stop. I worked out yesterday, which was arm day. So I basically did like shoulders, biceps, triceps, um, a little bit of back, nothing crazy, um, and chest. So I did upper body yesterday. But what I'm doing for this video is I have a little bit of a clip or I have a few clips from my warm up. So I'm just gonna quickly flash that. training session I'm also for since it's just been 15 days of consecutive working out I'm going to give you 15 things that I have noticed that has changed within me or 15 things that I've noticed just being on this fitness journeys All right, here we go. So 15 things I've learned from 15 consecutive days of working out. So number one would be more energy in the day. I've noticed that I'm not tired. I don't really want to take naps. Um, I wasn't a big napper, but I would have like low energies to where I could take a nap throughout the day. I don't experience that as much anymore, um, if at all, actually. I've actually had more energy <laughs> um, than I've ever had, which is very good. For two, better sleep. I sleep so good now, bro. Like I used to have really bad sleep problems. Like insomnia and obviously i'm not saying that like 15 days alone has fixed this completely i am just saying i've noticed these changes in the last 15 days alone right <laughs> so better sleep i have way better sleep like it's deeper it's more rested like i wake up less angry in the morning <laughs> i i do not i am not a morning person um but i wake up with a little more gusto like a little more like okay let me just get up type of energy number three thinking clearly and having more focus i have such it's almost like my brain has no thoughts unless i'm thinking like it's a very mind empty but in a good way type of feeling uh, and i can just focus on tasks a lot better number four less mood swings i am a moody person okay <laughs> i'm very moody i my mood any little inconvenience could change my mood for the mood for the next 45 minutes type of thing like i i usually experience really bad mood swings and i have not experienced any mood swings actually in these last 15 days obviously i'm still human i've felt some emotions but not mood swings <laughs> if you know what i'm saying number five a deeper connection to my body i i understand my body in a way that is really hard to explain um also I'm more connected to when I'm hungry, when I'm not hungry, what I want to eat. Like I'm just more connected to my body. Like I'm listening to it more. Like I know what to do on what day because I'm listening to my body. Number six, more confidence. Not something I was lacking, but it's definitely something that I'm packing at this point. Cause like, I, I don't know, it's something about leaving the gym, that immediate, like that pump boost that you get. 
nothing like it, bro. Nothing like it, bro. And mine lasts like I wake up the next day and I'm like, mm, yeah. <laughs> Number seven, higher libido. Sorry, family. Um, my libido was real low. Um, these last couple of months, really like last year, it was just real low. It was just continuing to get low, and now I feel the reverse effect of it getting higher. Um, so that's nice. Number eight, more drive in general. Like I have a uh, a, a deeper want to, to do the things that I want to do. Like my drive is just crazy right now. Like I have so many things that I want to do that I'm doing. And it's just it's just nice it's just nice so more drive number nine falling in love with fitness i literally fell in love with this shit like i love it like i that it's all i'm thinking about every day all day it's all i'm watching <laughs> every day all day like my if you could see my for you page on all my social medias before and then now it looks completely different because all i'm concerned about is fitness <laughs> number 10 a better appetite so like i was saying i'm listening to my body more so i know what i want to eat when i'm ready to eat and i know if i'm actually hungry and i know how much i need to eat like at first i ain't not gonna lie i did not have i do not have the best relationship with food in the sense that i will literally eat like once a day and it not be like the calories that i need obviously like I think that might have contributed to why I was so fucking tired. But at the end of the day, it's like I my appetite is getting a lot better than it was. 11, more flexible. So obviously from doing mobility and shit, like I've noticed that I can move my body differently or I trust my body in certain positions or and not even doing mobility. I mean like just living and existing and moving around and bending and squatting. Like I am more flexible. <laughs> it doesn't uh, ache to do certain things anymore. So number 12, obviously I've gotten stronger. Um, if you saw my PR video yesterday, you know that, I mean, I'm deadlifting like 120, I'm bench pressing like 80, um, and this is not including the weight of the bar, right? So like the 120 deadlift is probably more like a 150 deadlift or 130 deadlift, depending on how heavy the actual bar is. I think it's like 15 to 20 pounds. Um, and then like I got a bench press of like 80 pounds plus the bar, but it's a Smith's machine, so there's is like 10 to 15 pounds. Uh, so like 90 pound dead, I mean, <laughs> so I have like a 90 pound uh, bench press and then a 90 pound squat, I think. No, I hit 70, so like an 85 pound squat. And so like, I mean, I didn't test it beforehand, but I just know that those were not the numbers I would have been hitting a, two weeks ago. Um, probably not the numbers I'm gonna be hitting in two weeks, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a noticeable difference in my strength. 13, willpower. My willpower has been like reignited. Like, I feel it in my solar plexus, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. It's just that goes into like the more drive, too, because it's like drive and willpower kind of go together. So, like, if one is growing, the other one will, too, more or less likely. Um, and my willpower, I don't know. I just, it just, when I when I set my mind to do something now, it gets done. It's not like procrastinated about or overly thought about or and that also might be because I can think clearer. You know what I mean? Like all of these benefits kind of benefit each other. Um and they're coming from one source of changing my lifestyle. You know what I mean? Ah, Mr. B, please. Mr. B, please, Mr. B. <laughs> I fucking hate bees, bro. Please don't sting me. I don't want to be stung. Thank you. Please. I'm trying to make a video appreciate it uh, <laughs> number 14 patience uh, patience is something I've been working on for like the last five years <laughs> I've definitely been trying I mean my patience is a lot better than it used to be okay uh, but 14 patience I've, I've noticed that like I am more patient with not even just like everyday life but like my workouts like I don't rush anything I'm really making love to the weight if you will I'm um, filling out the full range of motion you know what I mean and that's why I speed up my videos because literally <laughs> without me speeding them up at at least 1.75 times speed it's a two three hour video you're not watching that <laughs> so that's why you see me moving so fast in most of my videos is because i've sped them up and it's because that shit takes me forever like my clips are i mean my videos are literally like 30 minutes a piece <laughs> to two an hour a piece two hours a piece and you know what i'm saying when i clip it all together it's like a three hour video that i have to chop down um and that's just because i've been taking my time with it um, especially mobility like my mobility clips go by really fast because I have to speed them up so fast because I am literally like 
You know what I mean? So it's like, it takes a minute. Oh my God, Mr. B, please. I might have to kill this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> I try not to kill bugs that are outside because this is their house. But listen, bro, you're not about to be bothering me. I don't give a fuck who house you at. Yeah, number 15, excited about future results. So I'm not only excited about like what my body might look like in another two weeks or, you know, like how my health is going to improve in another two weeks. I'm mean, just excited in general about my life because I am changing it, if that makes sense. Like when you have changes going on in your life and you know that there are going to be consistent changes in your life, it's something that it just excites you about life. It just gets you really excited. Um, so, yeah, those are the 15 things that I've learned from 15 days of consecutively working out. I'll probably do this again in another 15 days for like a 30 day one and do another 15 things that I learned.